So far this year, there have been 58 murders here in Jacksonville. According to our records, 41 of those cases remain unsolved. The parents of a man senselessly killed during a robbery two years ago say this is a growing problem. Channel 4's Allison Henning spoke with them about other parents who are still a long way from justice. We want to know why. We want to know why. Stephen Rowe and his wife Raylan are partway through their battle to justice. Their son Daniel Rowe was shot and killed two years ago during a robbery when he was taking out the trash at the end of his work shift. About one year later, police made an arrest. Rowe's parents want to know why and what happened, but some parents, even after years, are still desperate, wanting to know who. We are actually finding out that we're one of the luckier sets, if that makes any sense. I mean, we're only two years in and we're already in the court battle with one. Looking back, our News 4 Jacks records show 56 out of 96 murders were left unsolved in 2015. In 2016, 66 out of 107 were left unresolved. And out of 58 so far this year, no arrests have been made in 41 of those cases. Just last night, folks gathered raising money for Project Cold Case, an organization that works to find answers in these unsolved cases. Raylan Rowe applauds their efforts and says it's going to take a movement. We're never going to get anywhere against the violence in this city if we don't stand together. Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.